Lockley. The driver suggested the Denver House Hotel. You think that's all right? I guess that's fine. Come on, we'll walk you over. I think you'll like it here. Take this, Minnie. I'll get to the best room in the house. Laughlin, you said you came here looking for your mother. Yes, that's right. Oh, I have a picture of her. The only one I have. Well, I do hope you can help me find her. Isn't she beautiful? She certainly is. When was this taken? About 15 years ago. Have you ever seen her? No. She would look a lot different now. What makes you think she's in Denver? She has to be. If she isn't, I don't know where else to look. You see, ever since I was separated from my mother 13 years ago, I received a yearly allowance. After my guardian, cousin Ada, died this summer, Money came directly to me. It was a draft on the Denver Bank. You know who sent it? A man I'd never heard of before. His name is Clay Weatherby. I didn't know his address, of course. But I wrote to him general delivery, asking him if he knew anything about my mother. But I never heard from him. Thirteen years ago. You must have been about five years old then. Yes. I was five. Mother had just given me a doll for my fifth birthday. What brought about the separation? My mother and father were entertainers on the Mississippi River boats. There was an accident of some kind, and my father was killed. That's, that's when I was taken away to live with cousin Ada. They said that my mother died later. Apparently you don't believe that. I never have. I've always known she was alive somewhere. And we'd be together again. Well, I think we can find out who's been sending the money. Don't build your hopes up too high. That, that'll prove your mother's still alive. I know she is, Mr. Smith. I just know she is. Well, your room's ready. Oh, thank you. George, hmm? here's a picture of Charlotte's mother. Have you ever seen her? No. But I know this song. You know that blind piano player of the Imperial Saloon? Jackie Rouge? Plays it all the time. Never heard anywhere else, though. Funny. Jackie Rouge. Name mean anything to you? No, I don't think so. Well, it's a start, anyway. Mind if I take this with me? Thank you. 
I know you must be tired. You've had a long trip. Why don't you get some rest, and we'll look in first thing in the morning at the Good night. Thank you, King, eh? Take kindly to some advice. You don't belong in Denver. No young girl does who's alone and unprotected. Go back where you came from before it's too late. you're here. After you left last night, a man warned me to leave Denver or something bad would happen to me. Then during the night, someone tried to break into my room. I'm frightened. This man who warned you, what did he look like? He was big, with deep set eyes and a hawk shaped nose. You know anyone that fits that description? No, I don't. I'd know him if I ever saw him again. The bank must be open by now. I want to see what they have to say about that draft. You'll be all right here for a little while? I'm fine now. Thank you. We'll meet you back here for lunch. Hey, you're taking a real interest in this case, ain't you, sweetie? Feel sorry for the poor girl, that's all. Yeah, sure. 
Think she's making it all up? No, I don't think so, George. Someone wants her out of town, that's for sure, but right now I'd hate to guess why. Maybe it's on account of her mother. Think she's still alive? The girl believes it so strongly. She's about to swing me around to her way of thinking. I didn't really expect to find out much at the bank. I was agreeably surprised. A bank teller remembered Charlotte's bank draft and the man who purchased it. From the description he gave me, Clay Weatherby was the same man who had warned her to get out of Denver. All so confusing. Why would this Clay Weatherby send me money and then try to frighten me out of town? If we knew that, we'd have the answer to this whole riddle. Do you think all of this has some meaning? That I'll find my mother soon? Now, don't start getting your hopes filled up too high. But there is a possibility. I'll never lose hope. You think this all ties in together, Smitty? Weatherby warning? Blind piano player? He knew your mother all right. He didn't want to let on to us that he did. And that man, Bewley, last night. Wouldn't be surprised if he was mixed up in it. It all fits into a plan to get Charlotte out of Denver. But why would he want her out of Denver? He's only a guard out at the Broderick place. Why didn't you tell me this before, George? I didn't think it was important. Is it? Hard to say, but it just might be. Broderick, who, who is he? Oh, he owns a ranch north of here. Keeps it guarded like a mint. You know, he's got armed guards patrolling that place day and night. And some folks say the place is haunted. George. All right, so you don't believe in ghosts. No, I don't. But it might be interesting to pay Mr. Broderick a visit. What's the matter? I thought I heard a horse up ahead of us. I wouldn't be surprised. The old blame country looks like one big ambush. trespassed Mr. Broderick and they jumped us. You two get on back to your post. Now, Bewley, I want to hear more about this. May I ask who you gentlemen are and what you're doing here? We're detectives on the Denver Police Force. We want to talk to you about Charlotte Lawson. Yes, I knew she'd come. Eventually, of course. Though I tried to head her off for her own good. Is that why this monkey tried to scare half to death last night in an alley? Is that true? I wasn't going to hurt him, Mr. Broderick, but... You said you didn't want to stay in Denver. You're through. I never want to see your face again. Now get off my land! Charlotte told us her father was killed accidentally. Bella's first husband was killed by Bella's own hand. You mean she murdered him? 
not murder. It was self-defense. The man she married was a was an animal. It's the only way I can describe him. Any other woman would have left him a hundred times over. But not Bella. Not until he began mistreating their child. Then she knew there was nothing else to do. But when she tried to leave, he threatened to kill her and the child, too. Thank you. Afterward, Bella knew she couldn't keep her daughter with her and submit her to the shame, humiliation of the gossip that could never be stilled. So she put her daughter in the hands of a guardian and came here with me. And she became my wife. You've been paying Charlotte's support ever since? Yes, my foreman took care of it for me. And you sent him into town to warn Charlotte to get out of Denver. Was that more cruel than letting the girl unearth all the old sorrows her mother tried to keep from her? Believe me, I, I only want what's best for the girl. I think she's old enough to decide that for herself. Seeing her mother again might make up for all the rest of it. Would it, Mr. Smith? Come this way, please. There she is, my Bella. Could she really make Charlotte happy now? Charlotte was told the truth about her mother, gentlemen. Bella Laughlin died ten years ago. This has been a trying evening, gentlemen. Send her back home, please. Believe me, it's for the best. Now, if you'll excuse me. Happen here. I'm gonna wait for a little while and I'm going back there. Well, why didn't you believe his story? Oh, his story was fine. I bet you'd find it's even documented if you wanted to check the record. So, what's the trouble? Fellow Broderick. Gentleman through and through with me. Yeah. Why didn't he invite us into the house? Cold night like this. Meets us on the front steps and gets us away as fast as he can. Yeah. I wonder why. That's what I'm going to try to find out when he goes to sleep back there. Hey, Smitty, Buggy's coming. Oh, be doggone. Roderick's foreman and Jack Rouge. Hello, Buggy. Is that you, Mr. Broderick? Yes, Jackie. She's nice and quiet tonight, Mr. Broderick. She's been telling me about her little girl again. She's been like this ever since that terrible night, 15 years ago. 
she hasn't changed since then. It'll always be like that. Do you think that's right, Broderick? For you to decide that alone? Don't you think you ought to be given a chance to come back to the real world? And back to her, her daughter, Charlotte? You come to see my baby? Isn't her hair wonderful? So soft. Will it always be this far? I wonder. Will it always be like angel's hair? Hmm? I had to keep her like this, don't you see? to her. I'm afraid I'll say the wrong thing. I don't think it'll make a bit of difference at first, until she gets used to having you back again. Bella Lawson. But maybe with her daughter's help, she'd make it. 